Okay, so I wrote this song because... This is a real bop. It slaps hard. Can anybody tell me in the comments why the freak we call things bops? That's a new thing with the kids. They'll say if a song is really good. About this six months ago, bop. they would say they would say, "Man, this is a bop. This song is a bop." And that made me really mad. I didn't like that at all. I would hear a lot of people say. It. Now people are saying the song really slaps. You know what would be interesting is if somebody said that you were now allowed to slap them. If they say that it's a bop, you can bop them over and the that, head. That that is open for interpretation. With a hammer. What a bop is. <laughs> Hashtag douchebag. Now, this is a song that I wrote, I guess, probably around the 2016 election. We realized that there was a whole new level of douchebaggery that had shown its ugly face in social media. And it was in the form of people behaving in ways online that they would never dare act like that in person. Just very kind people acting like just belligerent idiots. It is truly amazing how different people act in person and online i think i had to unfriend some family members on facebook not just family members close friends people i've known and grown up with you'll recognize this feeling though you'd see some idiot say something stupid and you would think that it was your job to I... tell that idiot how to act and how to behave <laughs> and what he should think about this issue it's definitely <laughs> So I wrote this song, I was kind of preaching to the choir, and I was kind of preaching to myself. I write quirky style songs, they're not for everybody, they're just a, they're just a little off. You know, it's kind you of like a... Gotta tend to write that way. That was kind of the feel that we were going for. So getting straight into it, verse 1. My idea here was, I don't want to waste any time getting into the issue. I want you to know right out of the gate what this song is entirely about. I kind of want to say it all... Right here. Like, if this song stopped after verse one, it kind of wouldn't matter. You got it. <laughs> you understand now. Two, three, four. We all know a digital crook. They get on Facebook, just stealing everyone's joy. We screwed up, gave them a platform. Now it's an art form, like they were born to annoy. Oh, oh, uh oh, oh, well, he's troll. play lots of Christian festivals, churches, youth groups, all that kind of stuff. And so when I wrote this song, I knew immediately I had something, but I didn't know how I was going to deliver it. That's not one of those words that is super acceptable from the platform. In churches. So in, in our sphere. And that's where I always tell people, look, scripture tells us there are many parts and one body. We all have different jobs to do. And there's a lot of Christian bands out there that are gonna pick you up and help you feel really good. They're gonna hold you, they're gonna hug you, they're gonna pat you on the head and send you on your way. But somebody's gotta come along to slap you back down and cut you down to size. And that's what we do in I Am Spartacus. Here we are. Honestly, I really enjoy being able to just see people just laughing so hard. It brings me literal joy, like it makes me happy. If I dare to have an opinion on the election or really anything, here comes my notification. No hesitation, like you were waiting for me. You're just in it at this point. You get where the song's going, and then we throw a little curveball at you. We all know a douchebag. Probably more than a few, 
But if you can't name a single one, the douchebag is probably you. If you're wondering if you're a hashtag douchebag, if you're confused about the song and you're looking around going, mm, I don't think that this is about me, let me help you. It is. If you think you're not. If you think you're not, yar. 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 If you post a mirror selfie, yar. <laughs> if you post a mirror selfie shirtless, yar. <laughs> Yar, dude. If you argue with memes or gifs, yar. If you post a picture of yourself with a Bible verse underneath it, so you faked caring about the Bible Bible verse, you just needed a delivery system for a cute picture of yourself, yar. If you crack your knuckles before you go online, yar. Just warming up the joints. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, if you what... argue with satire, you 60. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're the person that gets on there and goes, dude, it's satire, yar. If you've ever shared a post that someone else thoughtfully typed out with the caption, this. <laughs> if you talk about how many activities you do outdoors and how much exercising you do, yar. So much this. Yar. Yar. If your reply to anything is in all caps with many exclamation points. <laughs> Yar. If your profile pic is your vehicle. If your profile picture is any sort of flag or symbol. Yar. If you talk about how many books you read. Yar. This is the Christian version of it. They take a picture of their Bible and all their study reference books. Yeah. A coffee sitting in the corner. And every now and then they'll have a pistol in there too. Yeah. If your bio on Facebook has the word vaccine in it. <laughs> Yar. You know what the beautiful thing about this is? On any of these issues, it doesn't matter which side you fall on. We've all got douchebags. Yeah. They're on our team. They're on your team. I'm going to spank your bottom. Get out of my studio right now. Get out. I don't know who that was. Hashtag douchebag. Hashtag 